Okay, so we just finished talking and we were talking about you walking more regularly. So let me show you what I'm talking about. My, my, my little video camera is on top of my yoga mat, so let's hope it doesn't fall off. I tell people that they should stand comfortably before they walk, level the pelvis. Let me show you what I mean. Your butt's not sticking out behind you. You're not leaning. You know that's my tendency. I tend to I don't think about it. I'm walking around like this. So I want to stand up tall and I do a pelvic tilt. So I'm level through the pelvis. I'm not leaning back like I've got a bunch of groceries in my arm. I'm not leaning forward. I'm level in my pelvis. Here's the next thing. Right here is your sternum. Lift up your sternum. Take a moment. Look at me from the side. So here I am in kind of, you know, relaxed posture. Look at that rounded back, my head hanging forward. Not ideal, but if I lift up my sternum and tuck my chin, look at that big, beautiful, straight back. Now, I know I'm rounded in front. Don't look at my front. That's just my body. Look at my back with that beautiful pelvic tilt, sternum lift. Chin tucked. Now that you've done that, you want to think about walking. And I'm going to take my shoes off so they won't make clippy clappy noises and distract from the video. So here I am, pretend I'm walking. I could be walking up or down the driveway. I could be walking around my deck. I could be walking around my entire town. When you're walking, your sternum is lifted. Don't look down at the ground. In front of you, can you see what it does to your posture? Pelvis, sternum, chin tucked. Walk looking a little ahead of you. I don't know, five, eight feet ahead of you. See how my, leaves my neck all nice and tall. Now the question is, how much should you walk in this lovely tall posture? The answer is you'll decide internally. Do not look at a watch or a clock or a timer. Internally, you walk your driveway, your deck, the perimeter of your town. You walk until, oh, I'm feeling a little fatigued. When you feel fatigued, you stop. Keep your good posture. This allows you to have room to breathe. Allows your abdominal wall to stay engaged. Look how I'm just rocking side to side. If you had seen me yesterday, I'd walk to the bus stop. I would go a while. And then I would just stop, whether it was the middle of the block or at the stop sign, and just go side to side. And now I can feel, all right, until you feel your body feels recuperated, pull yourself together. Level pelvis, sternum lift, chin up. There's that beautiful flat spine. And begin your walk. And how long should you walk? This is internally motivated fitness. Internally making choices in your fitness. So you're walking. <sighs> you're breathing. And whenever you get fatigued, I don't know where you will get fatigued. I have something happening that my thighs get real fatigued real quickly. So that's what I noticed. My hubby has challenges breathing, so he notices his lungs. Everybody's different. Where do you feel fatigue? When you do, this is the second time we have stopped. Check, I did just do my pelvic tilt sternum lift because it engaged my abs. My great belly is so round that when my abs are engaged, it feels better to support the weight of my belly with my back. Are you breathing? It's funny, I want to go like this with my arms when I go side to side. And my neighbors think I'm nuts because I am out here like this all the time. I go side to side, you might want to look more normal. No, I got to go like this. I know why. My shoulders uh, are uncomfortable. As soon as I do a jazz hand, 
with a shoulder roll. Now my shoulders are happy. And I don't know, oh, no, I was moving too much. I want to do this real hard. That was using my muscles. No, here I am. I'm going. I'm recuperating. I'm going for my third round of walking until fatigue. And then I'll do my third round of a little side side. All right, here's my third walking until fatigued. You know, since we're here and we're on the video, I'm going to take a minute and show you the smoothest, simplest stretch up at the end of your walk if you want to do it with me. You listen to your body. You don't go with me. But whenever your body somewhere says you might have fatigue, your feet, your legs, your knees, your low back, you're breathing, what does your body go until your body needs a break? Can you hear how that's a dialogue in your head between the different parts of you, parts that feel fatigued, parts that want to keep going? Make a choice with an internal problem solving. And when you're done, rock it. Just rock side, side. Easy, mellow, and So we're gonna pretend there's a wall here for me to show you the stretch. We were using your calf muscles beautifully. So what I want you to do is just stand and put your hands on a wall. See my pretend wall? Okay, good. I'll use this wooden thing like it was a wall. Step away from the wall and put your heel down. I'm gonna face you to show you something. Look at this foot here on this side. It's normal when you step this foot back to accidentally, I'm even coming closer so you can see my foot back. See how it turns sideways? No, no, no. That's safe, but I wanna stretch my calves. So I'm gonna look down and see. Yes, see how my feet are like they're on railroad tracks. They are parallel to each other. Standing tall, watch this back foot right here. When I step forward, the back, I can't even go very far. The back foot didn't turn. It stayed on the railroad tracks. Now again, I have something going on with my muscles and my calf muscles have both atrophied and tightened up. So I can only, I'll show you, I'm only stepping this far from each other. There are people who will be stepping, oh, way, 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 way. Your body, your way. Do what's right for you and intend a little straighter. You heal a little farther to the floor. Can't you feel that calf stretch? All right. Now I'm going to bring both feet back. You still got your wall here? With both feet back, take a moment, check pelvic tilt, sternum lifts, step the other foot forward, heel press behind you. Oh, this foot. This calf has some more flexibility, so I got a little wider. What's your foot doing? They're parallel? I'm gonna look. Oh yeah, they're good, they're on their railroad tracks. I'm holding onto the wall, pressing my heel down. This one where you just have two straight legs that are a little bit apart, that's the bottom half of a pyramid in yoga. Who knew you'd be doing yoga today? So here you are with your calf. Fabulous. Now, let's do a hamstring stretch. I'm going to bring a chair over for that. I'm going to hope the chair moving does not rock. Oh, good. The phone. You should see this tower I've got the phone standing on. So here's the little chair, which is rolling. You have a stationary chair. It's not going anywhere. Oh, I want to show you a hamstring stretch. The most gentle hamstring stretch, Joanne. Think about this one. I was showing you the calf flat. Then see that flat back? Keep your flat back and bring yourself down just a little bit. I don't know how far, just a little, or maybe that, maybe that one. See the flat back? It's as if you're arching your back and letting your, this is a cow, a standing cow. Like your utters fell forward. I'm going to do the cat. 
like a cat on a fence. Tuck your tailbone under, round your back. And here's the cow, stick your butt out. My back doesn't arch much, but yours might. Make it gentle, make it nice. If you have spinal stenosis, be super gentle. You barely do any arch at all. Mostly just lift the chest, lift the tailbone. There's your cow. Here's your standing cat. And there's your cow. Now, believe it or not, this flat back cow gives a stretch to the hamstring. Sometimes even when you're this high. But maybe you want to go down a little more. Maybe your body says, okay, flat back still. I should be down here. So find your lowest cat cow. Cat exhale. Inhale on the cow. Can't you feel on the cow your hamstring stretches? Now, when your body's ready, round yourself and look. You don't want to go so low that you pull too much. Lower gently. Be supported. If you don't have a chair, you're out on your deck. You could be going down on the deck rail. You could be holding onto your thighs, round your body over. Let your knees stay bent. Hold on to an ottoman, a chair, a deck rail, a yoga block, whatever's right for you. Everybody's body is different. All oh, let that head relax. Relax the neck. Relax between your shoulder blades. Oh, feel a low back stretch. Is that too much? Bring it up, baby doll. Give those hamstrings just right. Just right for you. So we stretch your calves one at a time. We stretch your hamstring buns all up the back of your body. To get up, I want to pamper your back. So I'm gonna sit my butt down just a little bit. Feel how I made my back flat. Here, I'll show it to you again. Lift your chest, flatten your back, and come up extra carefully and gently. Shoulder rolls, that's it. That is your walk with internally chosen intervals. I'm doing shoulder rolls. Your intervals shows how much you should walk, how long. Is it a three minute workout? Is it a 30 minutes around your house? I don't know. And then we did a little calf stretch. And then we did a full back of your body stretch. Now I end every practice and every class with this. So I'm going to end our walk with this. I've extended my hands down. I did so carefully to watch my tenderized shoulders, pelvic tilt, sternum lift, chin tuck. Feet are wherever you like them. Do you like them closer? Do you like them wider? Now think of these knees. They're reaching towards your body. Say thank you to your body. Take your hands over heart center. Now see how this hand is on top. It's like the kid's side of you is saying thanks to the mom's side for not doing too much. And the mom's side of you is saying thanks to the kid's side for coming out to the deck or the yard or the street and doing the walk at all. This is where you find peace from the sides of you. I don't want to, I do want to. Consider each side. Listen to each side. Now, I like this next part as you reach up. What's up for you? Some days that's all I got. Reach up and pat yourself on the back. Reach where? Your body will allow. Can't you reach your back? What about pat yourself on the chest? And say thank you to yourself. Thank you to yourself for coming to walk today. Thank you to yourself for your self-care. Because remember, your self-care today helps heal past times long ago or recently when you might have been neglected or might have neglected yourself. Self-care today heals past wounds. Alrighty, that's it. That's my going for a walk. Let me see how to turn off this recording. I haven't dropped it yet. Okay. I see it, I see it. Bye. Stop recording. Bye again.